Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the cross section modifier in 3D Studio Max. Cross section modifier is a special kind of modifier which only acts on the shape objects like line or circle, ellipse, rectangle, etc. If you create a box or any kind of geometry and go to the modify panel and modify list, you will see there is no cross section modifier has been showed up because uh, mod cross section modifier doesn't work on the geometries. If you create any circle from the front view, just create this circle. And <coughs> if I now, if I go to the modify panel under the modify list, you will see the cross section modifier is there. Now, what the cross section modifiers actually do? It actually creates a basic cage. Uh, with the help of a uh, bunch of uh, splines or shapes to create any kind of surface. In this scene, I have already created this spoon by using the modifiers uh, called cross section. How the cross section is helped, let, we'll, let's see. Now, I just uh, scale down this uh, circle and just push it back. How I, I make this a bunch of uh, uh, splines I'll just show you up now select this and just duplicate this and you just uh, scale it like this and then again just copy this uh, just scale it down more then again just copy and you just scale more stuff to is down then I just copy this one uh, just base of the spoon spoon has been done and I'll just uh, increase this and something like this fine and I'll just uh, duplicate again to make the shape much more stronger then again another one for the tip and I'll just uh, reduce as much as I can so now what we will do we'll just uh, select all the circles and convert it to the editable spline why I'm converting this to editable spline is we have to attach all this uh, nerves sorry or attach all these circles into one object for that under the editable spline options switch on the attach button and you just click the rest of the curves now it's become the one single editable spline now over this one single editable spline I will just apply the cross section modifier cross section modifier now what the cross section modifier is actually doing it's actually creating the cage it's it doesn't give you the shaded mode or shaded view like see I'm uh, toggling off on and off the shaded view by f3 shaded and wireframe and it's not uh, nothing happening and if even if you uh, hit render you will see only this object this this spoon is actually showing up so what we have to do after this cross section modifier we have to apply the surface modifier which is important uh, surface surface now you can see the shaded mode is coming up now what will happen if I don't use the cross section modifier what is the exact uh, you know use of the cross section modifier let's see uh, what is happening over here I just select a bunch of uh, editable splines and I just uh, going to use the surface modifier only uh, let's see what is happening if I hit surface let's see what is happened it only filling up those uh, no uh, sorry uh, the uh, splines individual splines it's not connecting them that's where the cross section modifiers comes to play the cross section modifiers actually binding these uh, uh, splines into one single cage and that's how 
the cross section modifiers actually help cross section modifier I just uh, put this cross section modifier first then I have to put the surface modifier so that it will create the required surface like this so now uh, I have the, uh, the I have the uh, uh, surface and if you hit render you can see all the trees are coming now the plus point of the surface or even after using the cross section modifier you can get back to the editable spline option and you can change the vertices switch on the show end result on and off toggle to show the end result and I'll just pull it down so that my uh, geometry sorry the uh, the geometry is is going to affect upon this uh, 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 even after using this uh, modifiers and this modifiers that's how is actually stacks independent you don't have to uh, think about the uh, stacks where you can anytime you can get back to the uh, sub object level of uh, the surface uh, sorry of, of the splines and you can change them so that's how you can really easily and uh, really easily create the uh, required shape and required surface complex shape even and you can get back to the surface view and if you render it you can see the entire thing is coming out so uh, I hope uh, you understood this uh, modifier hope you enjoy this session thank you very much